geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Stalagmites. What is a stalagmite? The word stalagmite originates from the ancient Greek stalagmias, meaning dripping or trickling, from which we then get stalagmites. Stalagmites are associated with stalactites. To find out more about stalactites, please do watch our Geology in a Jiffy video about stalactites. Like stalactites, stalagmites can be made from a variety of materials, including minerals such as calcium carbonate, this having been dissolved in the water that drips from the stalactite sited above the stalagmite. Stalagmites can also form below lava stalactites, where lava drips down to the floor from the roof of a lava tube. Dripping mud and even the chemicals found in dripping rat urine can also form stalagmites. How do stalagmites form? To model how a stalagmite forms, imagine a pot of black paint. If we then take the paintbrush, covered in paint, and hold it above the floor, the paint will start to drip off the brush and splat on the floor. The splat is the stalagmite forming. Now think of this model being applied to the real-life roof of a cave. In the roof of the cave there is a crack, or a joint in the rock. Groundwater, flowing through the rock, starts to drip from this crack. As the drip falls to the floor, some of the dissolved minerals that are in the water remain on the ceiling. These left behind as a hard layer on the roof of the cave. This process repeats, with further layers of minerals precipitating from the droplets, which, over time, forms a downward pointing stalactite. Directly below the stalactite, falling off the stalactite, the same drips hit the floor, each time leaving minerals precipitated on the floor as the droplet splats on the floor. Over time, as the stalactite grows, so does the stalagmite, with each growing longer and taller as more mineral layers are deposited. As this photograph shows, we can clearly see the stalagmites having formed and grown upward below the stalactites on the ceiling above. If we zoom in on the stalagmites, we can see how they are formed by repeated layers building up upon the lower, older layers. These beautiful ice stalagmites clearly show the same method of formation, having formed below the icicles above them. Stalagmites take many, many years to form, probably thousands of years, especially those that form in limestone caves deep underground. Sometimes the stalactite on the ceiling and its matching ground-based stalagmite grow so long and tall they can join up, forming a column or pillar. How can we remember which way stalagmites grow? Look at the word stalagmite. The word ground has a G in it. So does the word stalagmite. So that helps remind us that stalagmites grow on the ground. The word stalagmite has the word mite in it. A mite is a tiny spider that scurries across the ground. So it also helps us remember that stalagmites form on the ground surface. Stalagmites! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!